So for today's video, I'll be talking about the finance side of my Poshmark business, in particularly how I plan on tracking not only my total sales, but also my total expenses, so I can see how much I'm actually making from doing this online business. This is something that I created a Google Sheet for, and if you're not someone who's very good at making them, or if you want to borrow someone else's as a template, I've actually put a link to a example of mine in the description below that you can make a copy of and use for your own Poshmark inventory tracking. So if you find this video valuable and like this series, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and then also to follow along, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Uh, any strategies that you use to track your Poshmark finances, feel free to share in the description below. Uh, I'd be interested to see what some of the more experienced users have been doing because again, I haven't actually sold anything yet, so it's something that I think I will edit in the future. As for an update of my actual page, taking a look at my closet here, you can see that I've grown to 400 followers, and I'll talk a little bit more about my growth strategy per se in a future video. But with that being said, let's dive into the spreadsheet that I created for my Poshmark inventory. So as you can see, I have everything tabbed uh, in the bottom here. First off, I'll be talking about the inventory tab. And this I plan on using once I sell an item. So I'll put the sale date, item description, uh, the gender. And this is something that I actually have a drop down on the example sheet. So I'll go into this. I'm going to use one that's filled out so I can explain everything easier. But uh, gender, male or female, and I want to use this as a way to track to see what sells. Uh, I know Poshmark hasn't been adopted largely by the male population, so I'm interested to see how that works out. But again, female, male, size, reference number, list price, the actual sale price, and then the profit. So that would be the sale price minus the Poshmark fee, so what you actually receive as a deposit amount in your bank account. I attached a list for reference numbers and this would be something I use for inventory tracking in the future and that would be if I decide to put in the item descriptions prior to actually selling the item on Poshmark. Again, this is something that I'll probably toy around with uh, in the future as my store becomes more dynamic and me having to keep track of things becomes harder. For my expenses, uh, it's just another tab on the bottom here, so purchase date, amount, location, item description, and for example here I have the purchase that I did for my printer and supplies at Office Depot, $119.05, $20, then for garage sale items that I picked up on the same day. So because I look at this as a form of income, I thought it was important to track actually the hourly rate, or at least it'd be interesting nonetheless. So my time spent shopping was an hour, and then picking laundry listing was two hours uh, for the day after. And there's certainly more put into this, but I didn't count sharing because that's something that I can do on my phone and in my free time while I'm just in between, between things, so I really wanted to count the formal activities. But all of this together ends up pulling the data into one place, and that would be the first tab, and this is the performance of my actual business. So I have it right here in visual form. Um, preferably, you'd want the blue bar to be higher than the red bar, because that's your total sales versus total expenses. So total sales is laid out here in the actual amount that I make from the Poshmark, so that's pulling from the inventory profit section here. Uh, and then the total expenses is pulling from this column here, and that's the sum of that. And then total hours is pulling from this list here. So that's how I end up getting my total sales, total expenses, for right now a total profit of negative $131.55, but it's actually this number because I haven't sold anything. Total of three hours for an hourly rate of negative $43.85. So as you can see, Right now, this is not a successful business, but in time, I am hopeful. So with that being said, this is the basic way I plan on continuing to track my expenses and finances in general for Poshmark as I hope to sell stuff in the future. The example for, for this is in the description below. If you want to use it for your own business, feel free. You can copy it and then make changes as you see fit. But as for the next video, uh, I'm debating topics, but tentatively it will be the actual requirements going through those for becoming a Poshmark ambassador and looking at how I fall currently being less than a weekend. 
So if you haven't yet, go check out my store on Poshmark at Immortal Threads, and then don't forget to hit the subscribe button for future videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.